Hello, Charlie Zorro here. Welcome to the Adventures of Kalia Underfoot. In today's episode, she has just been summoned to Thorns Hall to speak with Dwalin. So let's go up and see what he wants. Come and stay a moment. Hail, friend. I would have a moment of your time, if you please. I have a request that may seem out of the ordinary. Not long ago, I traveled through the Misty Mountains with Thorin's company. We found ourselves in trouble within the mouth of a cave in those mountains and ended up in a terrible place filled with goblins. I fear that the recent increase of goblins here in the Blue Mountains, specifically in Sarnor, might mean a greater, might mean a greater mustering of goblins throughout Middle-earth. I have heard reports that a friend from the same company is in that area now, and I was hoping that you could seek him out and see if there is anything that he has seen with regards to the goblins. His name is Cloan, and he can be found at his camp in the western foothills of the Misty Mountains, far to the east of here, beyond the Lonelands and the Troshaws. Seek him out and warn him of the changes in the goblins' behavior here. Yes, sir, we will be happy to do that. All right, so we're going to head out and we will meet up at Glowen's camp. All right, we have arrived at Glowen's camp. So let's take a look and see what Glowen knows. My old friend Dwalin sends word of concern. Ha! To be true, his concerns are well founded. The goblins here are as wild as those in the Blue Mountains, more so perhaps. There is word that the elves under Master Elrond's care have even sent scouts to see what transpires within the halls of Goblin Town. I have a mind to investigate myself, but the dwarves here need my assistance as the dower hands and their allies are our main concern. Still, it may merit investigation. All right, I'm a little surprised that there is no other quest. Well, we're going to go ahead and investigate on our own. So let's head down. Now, I believe that there are some other quests that Kalia can pick up. Ah, there's some platinum. Hang on while we pick up that. All right, and we are going to travel towards Goblin Town. But first, let's take out a couple snow lurkers. Unwitting scavengers. As the snow lurkers make their way through the snow, shards of pottery and old relics become tangled in their root-like legs. If enough are gathered, these items may be of interest to some of the scholars in Rivendell. Collect relic fragments from the snow lurkers in the Misty Mountains. Well, that sounds like a noble task. So we will pick that up and do that. Now we will go ahead and head up towards the pass. Up oh, and there's more platinum. Up oh, and there's another snow lurker. So we'll just shoot at him and see if we can't convince him to come down to us. There we go. Let's see if you have any relics that we can have.
go. There we go. Nope. No relics on that lurker. But we are able to grab some platinum. Let's mosey up here, see if there's maybe... No, I don't see any more lurkers. We're not going to bother the lynx. Ah, that looks like another lurker. We'll just run up to him. See if he has any relics on him. Taller than me, but I can still take you. There we go. There's a relic. Let's see if his friend has one. Come here, you. Take that. This is a little tougher to kill. There we go. Ah, uh, no relics. Dang. Ah, oh, looks like there's a chest or something up here, though. Let's take a look and see what this is. Oh, I am too low a level. Oh well. I guess I'll have to come back later. Let's keep moseying through. There's got to be some more snow lurkers around here someplace. And if nothing else, we can always come back and take some out later. Any over there? Nope, that's a lynx. Ah, there's one. Come here, you. Do you have any relics? Yes! Another relic. Up, oh, and there's some more ore. He picked that up. Clea is a metalsmith, so that'll come in handy when she forges her own weapon, or her own armor. There's another lurker. Let's see if he has any relics. Come here, you. Other lurkers? What's around the corner? Looks like we're in Lynx country. So we'll just kind of move on and out. And once we get out of this area, we'll mount up and see what we can find. Ah, snow beast! Take on this one. Up. And I see another snow lurker in the distance. It's always remind me of what I would expect the abominable snowman to look like. Alright. Now let's take on the snow lurker. Come here, you. I love the new effects where they actually show the arrow sticking out of the creatures and such. That's really cool.
And we just picked up another relic fragment. Let's keep on going. Ah, now we're getting to the polar bears, so let's just run around them. Really don't want to have to take them on if we don't have to. And it looks like we're going to have to. Alright. Well, this little hobbit can take on a polar bear. Bad breath. Oh, at least they didn't fall on her. They usually do. All right, and now we want to go up this way. Let's take out the deadly Craig Hawk. Or attack us. Come on, you silly bird. Take that. And that's it. Now we can continue on. In fact, now let's go ahead and mount up. Now you may be wondering why a hobbit is riding a goat. Kali was raised by the dwarves of Arid Luan, and so she picked up a lot of their habits. For example, she will only use a crossbow instead of an other, well, a normal bow is what I was thinking of, but, you know, a non-crossbow. So, and she uses axes, and she rides goats. So, she's basically a, uh, a dwarf in hobbit form. All right, there's goblins here, so we're going to stop. Ah. And let's question some of these goblins. Hey, you! We want to know where Goblin Town is. You're going to tell us. Come on, where's it at? Tell me. He wouldn't tell me. Let's go talk to this other go goblin up here. Hey, you! I wonder where Goblin Town is. Come on, speak up! Come on. Cough up the information. No, you're not running away from me. You're not going to tell me what I want to know. I'll kill you. And you can stop poking me with that stick. Well, they weren't very helpful. Maybe this guy over here will say something. Come on, speak up. Where's Goblin Town? You're a goblin. You gotta know. Come on. Cough up the information. Well, I can tell that he is not a very good interrogator. Much better champion than an interrogator. So we'll just continue on our own. Experience some some lag. I hope that doesn't continue. Let's see if this is the way into the pass. I believe it is. Yes. Uh, this looks like the wrong way. We'll keep going just to see.
Nope, this is the right way. So we're now entering the Northern High Pass. And that should take us to one of the encampments. Come on, come on. Lag is killing us. And that'll take us anyway to one of the encampments on our way to Goblin Town. And hopefully we'll be able to pick up some quests there. Okay. So we're going to dismount. Every time I go over this bridge, I love going over to the edge and looking out. Oh. Looks like my video is a little bit lower res than I prefer because the trees are not quite what I expected them to be. Alright, well I tell you what, I'm going to pause the video and I will meet you at the encampment. Okay, we've arrived at the encampment, and there are some quests here for us, so let's go ahead and pick them up. Oh, first let's go over and talk to the stable master. Well met! There we go. Let's take a look and see what this gentleman elf has Greetings, for us. Friend. Will he lend me your ear? Against the pack. Lorwyn had been tasked with scouting the strength of the warg packs in the Misty Mountains, especially those who prowl through the high pass near upon the gates of Goblin Town. She has failed to return, so we must continue her mission. The ruins to the west are once inhabited by capricious giants, but it is said that they fell at odds with the goblins of Goblin Town and must move south and east of here being unable to pursue the vicious goblins into their underground kingdom. Now those ruins appear to have become the lair of a large pack of wargs who are likely allied with the goblins. Test them, if you would, and see if they fight or flee. If they fight in the face of losses, then it is likely they are held under a strong pack leader and remain allied with the goblins. Well, we will certainly be happy to do that. You may be of service to me. Glorwyn's fate. Among other tasks, Elwen and I have come up into the, these forsaken mountains in search of a companion of mine by the name of Glorwyn. She came here some weeks ago with the same duty we have, to explore the strength and purpose of the goblins of High Pass and ensure that they do not move against Rivendell without warning. Unfortunately, she has always been easily distracted by the hunt, and I find it likely she has managed to while away the past weeks entertaining herself and has quite lost track of time. When last we heard from her, she was going to explore a set of giant ruins to the east, rumored now to be inhabited by a large pack of wargs. If you would help us find her, you would sure begin, you would sure begin your search there. Well, we'd be happy to take a look and try to find her for you. So let's go over to this gentleman dwarf and see what he is. Will you help me? Goblin hunt. Well met, Kalia. Did Elrond send you up here? No matter. Either way, we've plenty to do before the heavy snow set in. It seems that Rivendell is getting nervous about the rumors they've been hearing about Goblin Town falling under the sway of Agmar or some such. So they sent me and my lackey friend here to take a look around and see what's happened, or what's what. Can't say that we know for sure whether Agmar is involved, but we did find a large goblin encampment on the surface just a short ways northeast of here. Normally the goblins prefer to stay down in their caves away from the sun, so that's a tall tale sign that something is wrong. We've been, we've been making little forays now and again against the goblins, but for now, we've kept, we've got to keep an eye on the pass. Make sure they haven't started heading west to join with the smaller tribes scattered about the Misties. Perhaps you would care to take a try at them at, mean, at the meantime. There are plenty to go around and it would give you a chance to determine their strength. I would also say the exercise, oh, excuse me. I would also say the exercise will do you some good. You are looking a bit winded from the heights here. Uh-huh. 
Well, we'll go ahead and accept that as well. And Goblin Fire, I'm going to skip. I'm not. I don't really enjoy that uh, that adventure that much. So I tell you what, let's go over here. We're going to repair our armor. Oh, may I be of assistance? All right, repair the armor. Uh, gonna hold on and not sell anything just yet. Alright, so we are going to head south, southwest, and we're, let's take a look and see what we can find here. Ooh, that's pretty. Alright, so I'm going to pause here and we will pick this up when we get to the goblins. Okay, Kalia has found the goblin town of Gashru. Now... Let's take a look and see what we can find. Ah, there's some goblins. Ah, oh, run, you coward. There we go. And let's see. Let's power up a couple things. Let's go ahead and have a hobbit snack. Increase my vitality a little bit. Ah, there's a bomber. Let's see if we can get him. Get him before he comes over here. No, you're not going to get me. Oh, man. Die. Yes. Die yourself. Uh, another bomber. Let's see if we can't sneak around here and get him on his way out. Come on, drop it. No, not on me. Ugh. That's the disadvantage of having a guardian versus a hunter. Usually with a hunter, I can take those guys out before they get me. Come here, you. Oh man, another bomber! may be a little bit of a problem. Come on, Clea, you can do it. First off, let's step out of the fire. Unfortunately, he got away. He'll be back with his friends. Come here, you. Okay, time to start taking some potions. I'm actually thinking it's time to beat a hasty retreat. Oh yeah, time to beat a hasty retreat. 
Come on, Kalia, you can outrun them. Be careful, don't catch that guy. They're still after you. Run, 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 little hobbit. Run, run, run. They're still two after you. Come on, go, go, go. There we go. Well, that kind of sucked. Let's try this again. Only this time... We're going to bring up her skirmish soldier. Hello, Kirok. You can give me a hand. And let's see. Let's increase our morale. And the amount of damage we do. And our defense. So, now we should be ready to take these guys on again. Come on, you. There we go. Now we have a little bit more firepower. Now if we get attacked by five of them, we have a better chance of surviving. Come here, you. Yeah, I know. Bomber. Alright. Who's up here? Another guard. Alright. Take him out. Come on, guard. Take him out. Oh, looks like my buddy's in trouble. keep going. There's another bomber. Let's see if we can get him from a distance. Why does she only do one shot? I don't understand that. She used to do more than one shot. You have to look into that. No, you don't. Come back here. There we go. Now we need some Stabbers, so let's take a look and see. There's a stabber, so we'll go around this way. And we'll probably have to take them both on anyway, but hey, where are you going? Come back here. Why don't you take on my buddy? find a couple more stabbers. There's one. And of course we have to take on the guard at the same time, but that's alright. Okay, while well, Kirok has that one, I'm going to sit here and see if I can take out... Alright, got him. Now come back here and help my buddy take out the guard. Come on. Got him. Alright. So we need two more stabbers and a bomber. Something tells me... Well, that's a guard. Here's a stabber. Let's sneak in here and see if we can't take him out. There we go. Cover a bit. There we are. Come on, we can do it. There we 
go. I'll take on the guard while we're at it. And I think we just found our other bomber. Kirox having fun with a guard. Let's see if we can't go up here and help him. And that's that. So we need one more stabber. And looks like probably up the hill. So we'll just mosey about this way. Oh, wait a minute. Nah, that's probably a guard. Yep. Oh, speaking of guards. Alright, we'll just take on this one. Uh oh, that looks like there may be a bomber behind us. Kirok just got hit. Come on. Yep, there's the bomber. We'll take that bomber right out. Up, oh, still need one more stabber. All right, let's run up here. Ah, he's going to be over in this area. Yep, there's the stabber. Come here, you. Let's take you out. Oh, no, you don't. You're not going to knock me out. Take him out, Kalia. Take him out. There we go. Okay. We've... Oh, man. I think it's time for us to leave this area. Okay, let's beat a hasty retreat. Come on, Kirok. Time to run. Oh, wait a minute. I want that chest. Let's take a look and see what's in the chest. Well, that's not bad. We got a couple nice things. Now, let's get out of here. Run, run, run. See if we can't make it out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. All right. And we're going to dismiss our buddy, Kirok. Let him go. And then we're going to go back up to the encampment real quick. And I will meet you there. Alright. We're back at the encampment. So let's go ahead. Oh, it looks like there's somebody else here as well. That's cool. We'll talk to Elwyn. And... What do you need? Ha! Well fought, Kalia. Goblins may make for poor company but they do help keep one's skills honed. Now, those fire pots you mentioned, those were not weapons for little skirmishes. They were designed as weapons for war, for burning forests and besieging fortresses. If the goblins are making so many of them, it can only mean they have plans to march beyond these mountains and soon, methinks. We will need to do something about that. Yes, we will. Okay, looks like I just changed reputation. And might you lend me an ear? No, we're gonna skip the goblin pots. 
Okay. This is where we're going to end our adventure today. Next time we will pick up with going into the giant ruins and looking for Glorwyn. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe if you've not already done so. And until next time, safe journeys and take care.